right, coming up next, ah, yes, Freddy, it's a women's strawweight title fight between Jessica Aguilar and Juliana Lima. Training out of Gracie Baja, Texas, under the great Vinicius Chocolino Magalhães. Here is Juliana Jutai Lima, born in Belo Horizonte, Minas Gerais, Brazil. The time has got to be now, though, Joe. Juliana Lima has had some shining moments in the UFC. If she's going to make a championship-type run, it begins with this fight here and now tonight. As she makes her way to the Octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated. And she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding professional record on nine wins, five losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Belo Horizonte, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Juliana Jupa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 7 losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Pilata, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. All right, here we go. Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by Lima. A punch there, Joe. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Straight punch gets through. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lima. Aguilar gets caught with that punch. Well, she ate a pretty good hook shot to the body there, Joe, and now she's going to have to be careful moving forward. Her opponent has got a pretty good win here tonight. She has been vulnerable because she has leaned in. Let's see if she lowers the guard now here to prevent further damage by that hook. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Now she's in full guard. 
Nice hammer fist. Good scramble. Oh, how about the multiple strikes landing here? That is a serious offensive barrage. Both fighters throwing heat now. Aguilar gets caught by the inside leg. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Big takedown. Hammer fist here by Aguilar. Wow. Back up to the feet. Beautifully placed in time kick there by Aguilar. Good job in landing this series of strikes here. That one hurt. Oh, great employment of the jab by her there. It's underutilized by a lot of fighters, certainly not her. Aguilar gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Couple hammer fists there for good measure. Damaging punch lands for her there. Posture's up here. Clean hammer fist. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. Joshi's just out of range with that right hook. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Good job landing that series of punches here. Another takedown attempt here. That landed. Now she's in half guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lima. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lima. Excellent movement here on the ground. And back to full guard. Second round, straight ahead. Let's take a look here. Here we see a beautiful takedown. And here's another perfectly executed takedown. And here's another very nice takedown. We've really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. We want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work that. Brittany Palmer doing fine work as usual. <laughs> Second round here. Lima's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Aguilar gets the takedown. Now let's see what she can do with it. Oh, hammer fist. That one landed. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lima. Back and forth we go. Can we show you the total strikes? Excellent face with the kick. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving in with the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. Big shot from the bottom. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Left punch is true. Lima gets back up again. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Nice jab to the dome by Aguilar. Huge Strong left, left hand. hand. Oh, very nice. Oh. Back and forth we go. Nice takedown. Big body shot. shot to the body. Big punches here. Back up. Changes her stance. So Lena's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Fighters back to their 
feet here. Wow. Man, this could be it right here. And just misses with that big right hand. Found the target with that left hand. She's starting to put together some significant body work. Oh, vicious oh. Oh. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. In full guard here. Hammerfist gets through. 30 seconds now to go in the round. That one hurt. Aguilar gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Ten minutes in the books. So the horn sounds after that round. Big knockdown in that frame. Great round from Lee. Huge knockdown and a big moment in that round. Hey, stop! Here's a big punch that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. Ready? Ready? Fight. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Oh, nice. Oh, beautifully done there. She lands another strike to the body. Aguilar going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. Oh, hook to the head by Lima. Very nice shots, man. Well, she told us coming in that the body strikes and the body... Oh, oh. oh. this could be it. Oh, head kick. And she misses with the left punch there. How about that shin? She missed with that jab. Good exchange there. Oh! So again, she absorbs more damage to the head here, Joe. She's gonna have to make some adjustments. That head is sticking out right into her opponent's range and firmly on the center line. Let's see if she can make some adjustments here. Shoots in for the takedown. Aguilar gets the double leg takedown. So Lima's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swell. Neither fighter's really doing anything. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground, staying busy. Lima gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Wow! This could be it right here. Under two minutes to go in round three. Oh, she tagged her with the right hand there. Beautiful Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Back up. Here's a nice inside leg kick. Oh, hook to the head by Lima. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is... Oh! oh! This could be it. in and secures the takedown. 45 seconds remain in the round. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Changes her stance. Oh, nice jab by Aguilar. Oh! 
So Lima's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. All right, there's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. Let's take a look at it again here. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, we have arrived at the championship rounds. Here it is, round four, 15 minutes in the books. I think both of these women, Joe, have looked outstanding at times tonight, but now, correct me if I'm wrong, is where the champions really separate themselves from the pack. Is the endurance there? Is the cardio there to still have the offense, to still go strong in rounds four and five? I guess we'll find out here in short order. Look at the paint with that punch. Well, her opponent worked the body to great effect there, Joe, but she left it wide open. She moved forward somewhat carelessly, and she has become increasingly more susceptible now to that strike. Let's see how it plays out here moving forward. And she connects there. She's got some nasty bruising on her torso. Big body punch. Aguilar gets in the clinch. Double underhooks in the clinch. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Lima. She pummels out of double underhooks here. All right, double underhooks for her now. We'll see what she can do. Under three minutes remain in round four. Didn't quite connect. Oh, she snaps off another stiff jab. Perfect employment of the jab. Whoa! This could be it right here. Body kick, look at that. Oh, good combination. Big oh. shot to the head. She's hurt. She is stunned. Oh! Huge right hand! This could be it. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. How about that chin? Oh, nice combination. Yeah, Joe, and I think most fighters in this division get knocked out by that strike. Near perfect execution. She found a little crack in the defense and found a home for that strike. Landed flush, and that is another one for the highlight reel, but few prettier than that one as she gets the big knockout win here tonight. Check it out again. Bam! Nighty night. Well, the stakes were championship, and man, did that woman get the job done here tonight. The UFC Women's Strawweight Champion taking home the belt with a massive knockout win tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 51 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout and new. So congratulations are in order to the new UFC champion. And what is it going to take to dethrone this new champion? She was absolutely on point here tonight. Big title opportunity. She took full advantage. Can't wait to see how her championship reign plays out.